Hi, I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide information, education, commentary on injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention in sports and exercise for athletes and active people, probably much like yourself, so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Now, I talk a lot about ACL injuries. I write a lot of articles on my website about it. I write newspaper columns about famous athletes with ACL injuries. I talk about ACL injury prevention programs. But one of the questions that I don't talk about a lot is whether or not you know, active people in their late 40s and 50s need ACL surgery. This, this is so common in high school athletes and college athletes and, and professional athletes and young adults. But do you know, the rest of us need this surgery? Or do um, active people, like I said, in the late 40s and 50s need ACL surgery? And so in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video, I'm gonna answer that very question from a reader. Jim asks, I was just diagnosed with a full thickness tear of my right ACL. I'm 50 but very active. Is surgery the right path to take? It's a great question. There's no uh, doubt that this is an important one because um, initially when the injury occurs, it really hurts. The knee swells up really big and, and it's stiff and you have to really work to get motion back and get the swelling down and get the strength back. But if you do that, you really will. The reason we do this operation in high school athletes and in college athletes and young adults and pros is that the ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament, is a ligament in the center of the knee that provides stability to the knee. It keeps the tibia from shifting out from under the femur. And so uh, somebody that has a torn ACL, if they play a sport that involves landing from jumps or planting the foot and twisting, the knee can buckle and give way. So not only can they not effectively play their sport, but they can do more damage to the knee. And so uh, that's why we do it. We, you, you do a surgery to make a new ACL, hence it's called ACL reconstruction, um, but that basically aims to replace the ACL and, and make the knee stable again. Now, um, if somebody doesn't do a sport that involves landing or cutting and pivoting, you know, they might do really well without uh, an ACL surgery. If, you're just, if you just like to walk or you just like to jog, uh, you may not put your knee through those types of motions and so you might do okay without an ACL, especially in your late 30s, 40s, and 50s. Now, I would tell you that age is not really all that important in and of itself. Where I did my residency program, I remember when I was in residency, uh, none of the sports medicine surgeons had done an ACL over the age of 47. I've done a whole lot of ACL surgeries in people in their late 40s, early 50s. I've even had a couple in their early 60s. But the characteristic that they all had in common, really two characteristics. One, they were both really act, or they were all really active, including the, the two in their 60s. I think the one that was 62 was like a black belt and karate. Um, so they were very active, plus they were having their knee give out with activities. They couldn't do what they wanted to do, plus they risked uh, doing more harm. So the decision was fairly straightforward. But those are the kind of things that you think about even more than you think about the age. If you're really active, especially doing sports that involve landing from a jump or changing directions, you might be a good candidate for a, your, an ACL. If you're older and you're not terribly active and you're not having your knee give out with daily activities, uh, then you might do just fine without an ACL surgery. Now, have you had an ACL injury and did you have it treated surgically or did you try to treat it without surgery? I'd love to hear your, your thoughts and your experiences. So below this video, I would really appreciate it if you'd share your experiences, share your comments. I'd love to hear them and I'll try to uh, respond as well. If you know somebody that has an ACL injury uh, or is about to undergo ACL reconstruction, I would really appreciate it if you'd share this video uh, with them. Hopefully it can help them, you know, maybe make a decision about what to do uh, with their knee. Now, if you like uh, videos like this and want more information on injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention in sports and exercise, subscribe to my video channel. I, I record videos like this once or twice a week and I'd love to deliver those directly to you. And last, go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com. I share a number of resources only by email, completely free, again, that I only share there. Uh, and those are resources on ways to stay healthy and perform your best. So go to my website and sign up. 
I would really, really love to keep recording videos and, and attracting uh, and sharing information uh, like this with you on an ongoing basis. So definitely share these videos with your friends. If there's certain topics you'd like to, me to discuss or maybe there's questions you want me to answer, definitely send those my way. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.